Do you want to know what you're going to walk away with after all your closing costs? I meet with sellers every single week and that is the question they all want to know. Watch the video. I'm going to give you a breakdown of all the costs that you should expect to pay and how to estimate what you're going to walk away with. I do home valuations almost every single day. I think everybody knows any agent can come in and do that for you. But did you also know I can come in and estimate what your costs are going to be? And I can help you understand what you're going to net at the closing table. This video is going to be helpful for anybody. But if you're in Southwest Florida, put me to work. I want to earn your business. And since I have you, while you're here, if this is the kind of information you're looking for, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell. That'll make sure that every time we launch a new video, you'll get notified. Selling is a lot of work. It's a tremendous amount of effort, planning, and execution. You only get one chance to bring your house to the market. Doing it right is super, super critical. And while you think about price, that's the single biggest marketing tool we have to promote your property. As the seller, you're really more concerned about your bottom line and what you're gonna take away from the closing table. On average, it's fair to assume seven to 10% of your selling price is gonna be closing costs. Now there's some costs that you're gonna be familiar with. If you have a mortgage on your home, you're gonna have to pay that off. If you look at your statement and looked at your last balance, assume it's gonna be slightly higher than your last balance, and that's really to account for any accrued interest that's, that needs to be paid you know, on your settlement date. There are some other things that you should think about as well with your loans. Do you have a second mortgage? While it's not as common in today's day and age, even just a decade ago, it was not uncommon to do a first and a second for uh, particularly first home buyers, but even others to avoid paying PMI so that they would have the 20% down that's required. So if you have a second mortgage or if you have an equity line, don't forget that all of those lines of credits, they're gonna be closed out as part of the settlement of the transaction. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the biggest one and probably the one that you're most sensitive to. Frankly, it's the one I'm most sensitive to. That's commission. Okay, I understand 6% is a scary big number, especially when your total closing costs are estimated between seven and 10%. But I wanna break it down for you so you really understand what the 6% is. The seller pays both the seller's commission and the buyer's commission. So we split the commission amount down the middle. So at 6%, I get 3% on the seller side and then the buyer broker is gonna get 3% as well. I want you to think about how that actually works though. I wish I made 3% on your transaction. Just assume half of that goes back to the broker and Uncle Sam. And that's to fund the real estate business, the tools that we use, your e-sign software, the errors and omissions insurance so that if there's a problem with the transaction, you're covered. But that leaves me with one and a half percent. I have to live on that, but I also have to sell your home. So the more we squeeze the commission, the less I have available to get top quality photos, to get the floor plan that we want to do, the virtual tours, um, you name it, all the print materials, everything that we're going to do, if it's Facebook ads, any type of social media campaign, that all comes out of that budget. And similarly, on the seller side or on the buyer side, they get 3%, but it's the same thing. Half of theirs is going to go back to the broker and Uncle Sam. That leaves them with 1.5%. And I want you to think about there's some challenging markets. And it's not always going to be like it is today. You know, we're all benefiting from COVID. It's a strong seller's market, but it's going to shift. And frankly, it could shift quick. And when it does, you don't want to be in the situation where if, if a buyer is down to two or three properties and all things being equal, one of them's paying at 3% for the buyer's agent and one's paying at two and a half or two, that agent is naturally going to steer them towards the higher commission. So while it's the biggest number, it's the one you want to attack the most, I can just tell you hiring the right agent will get you the top dollar in the least amount of time. We're strong negotiators. We'll protect you during the inspection and the appraisal process. And ultimately, we're going to net you the most amount of money. So 
I get it, it's a big number, but I want you to understand the breakdown. Not all of that is going into our pockets, and we work tremendously hard to get your home sold. The attorney fees. If you've chosen to work with a real estate attorney, their fees are generally gonna be passed on to you at closing, so you'll pay them as part of the settlement. In some cases, you will just pay them a flat fee or a per hour type rate, but most likely, you're gonna see it on the settlement documents. And there's other costs. There's things like transfer taxes and recording fees. Those are driven by, could be the city, could be the county, could be the state. Those are set numbers, they're easy to estimate. Pretty much any good agent, particularly a listing agent, is gonna be able to give you those estimates up front. The next one is property taxes. We pay property taxes in arrears. So from January 1st until the day that you close your property, you're responsible for those taxes. So you're gonna find a prorated tax amount that's the equivalent of the time that you've been in that property for that calendar year. You'll see that on the closing document as well. And then there's just some miscellaneous charges. You may have agreed to pay for a home warranty as part of the marketing you know, promotion. Um, you might have opted, maybe some things came up on the inspection and rather than choose to repair, you just agreed with the buyers on a number, a credit that you wanted to give back to them at closing. Those types of things will show up. And additionally, you might have things like if you had a late payment or past payments due on HOA fees, all of that's gonna get reconciled and will be on the closing documents. So here's the good news. We have a lot of tools available to us. In fact, the title company that we prefer to use has a realtor portal for their app that allows us to do the full estimation right up front for you. We can add in things that we anticipate like a repair allowance. So we, we can we can generally get pretty close to what it's gonna look like. We start with your street address, that pulls the county, the state, the city information. We'll add in your HOA fees, we'll um, assume property taxes and insurance rates. So all that goes in and we can get pretty close to estimating what that's gonna look like. Now, a few days before your actual settlement and closing, you're gonna get the documents. That's gonna be your opportunity and mine, frankly, to review everything, look it over, make sure there aren't any errors, but to also understand what your obligations are gonna be. The last thing that should happen is for you to see or be surprised by anything on those documents. If we've done our job well, there won't be any surprises at the closing table. So I hope this has been useful for you. If it has been, and you wanna move beyond just estimating what you might net, I've got another video that you might like. It's a little bit long, but to me, it's the most comprehensive video I found on YouTube to walk you through the process of how you get your home ready to sell for top dollar. So I'll put the link here, check it out. Again, if you have any questions, reach out to us, social media, click the link below to schedule your 30 minute consultation. I look forward to talking to you live. Again, this is Jeremy with the Gillette Group and Local Real Estate.